Well, hello, Stamping friends. How are you all doing today? I'm doing well, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lori Heiling, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And guess what? I am in Maui right now, and unless I didn't pass the COVID test, <laughs> but I am on vacation provided by Stampin' Up! And I'm just so grateful to Stampin' Up! that they offer this because this girl likes to travel. <laughs> and I also thank all of you for allowing this to happen because without you, I would not be there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It's just um, really a privilege and a pleasure to um, be there and that they provide this for us. So, um, I'm going to be back sharing with you live, but because of my trip, I had to tape. But I really am trying hard to be sure and post my twice a week, which is Tuesday and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. That's Arizona time, which, by the way, the reason I always say Arizona time and I don't put like mountain or Pacific or, you know, the different time zones is because Arizona does not um, observe daylight savings time. So it's different every time change. So that's why I just say Arizona time. If you're not sure what time it is, just say what time is it in Arizona? <laughs> Well, before I show you my project today, I just wanted to remind you that there is that great promotion going on right now. Now, if you sign up to be a discount shopper with Stampin' Up's promotion, you are in for so much fun and creativity. And I hope you'll really consider joining my team. The deal is it's only $99 to join, which by the way, you get free shipping. You know, any of your orders have an additional 10% on for the shipping, but that is free when you purchase the starter kit. The starter kit includes any products you want in any catalog or on the clearance, clearance rack or whatever you'd like. And normally you can choose $125 worth of products, but with this special, you can choose $155. So you get so much more in this kit. And so um, remember that you don't have to do videos like I'm doing. You don't have to do classes. Um, you can be as involved or not involved as you want. That's the beauty of it. Um, so it just means that you're purchasing at a discount. I always compare it to kind of like a Costco membership. And really, there's no strings attached. Um, there's um, really nothing to lose. I remember when I started, I kept thinking, oh, do I want to do it or not? Should I keep... Um, just purchasing at full price. And my husband is actually the one who said, Lori, are you going to purchase things even if you don't sign up? And I said, well, yeah, I just love the product so much. And he said, just go for it. If you don't like it, if it's not for you, you just drop. You haven't lost anything. But if you try it, well, then you're saving some money. So actually, that's why I ended up signing up because of my husband. So, um, you know, I just he was so right. Just give it a test drive and see if it's for you. And if not, you haven't really lost anything, but you have gained some great products at a discount. And then there's also additional ways you can connect with our community. Of My team is called We Stampers, and um, we have a private Facebook page where a lot of sharing happens, and we meet monthly. We're one of the few groups that meets in person, and um, we... Um, but if you aren't able to, like your long distance, that doesn't matter. We do FaceTime live, so you still can get in on, you know, the swapping that we do and the creative challenges and just interacting with everybody. We have a birthday club and um, there's just so many ways that you can get involved. That is all voluntary, though, if you want to. If you don't want to, then that's fine. Just be your little discount shopper and happy camper. Um, you know, there's just something for everyone. And then um, also I will put the link to my um to where you can sign up and you can just take a look and see. And as always, um, I'm always here to help you or if you want me to just guide you or answer any questions, I can do that for you. Well, um, I'm gonna get started with today's project. So thank you for get, joining me again today and let's get going. I wanted to share with you the products that we're going to be using today. The first stamp set is Butterfly Brilliance. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice spring and summery stamp set. It's actually one big stamp that looks like a background stamp. And then I'm also sharing with you Peaceful Moments. This is kind of a great all around, all occasion stamp set that I have been grabbing quite a bit. So I think you're gonna like this one. And then the last thing I wanna show you is the paper that we're using, Pansy Petals. Now. You know, it seems like this is the paper I'm using the most, and I keep thinking, why do I gravitate towards this one? But it finally dawned on me. When I looked over here at the colors that coordinate it with it, look at all the in colors. I think all five of them are here. Um, soft succulent and polished pink, and uh, this is pale papaya, and fresh freesia, and evening evergreen, evergreen. So that's why I keep grabbing this. They have all the in colors, and I tend to want to use the in colors a lot when it's the new catalog that comes out. So we are using that paper again. Hopefully you enjoy it as well. 
Uh, the first thing we're going to do is start with our base for the card. And this is an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. And this is soft succulent, as I said, one of the new in colors. And we're just going to score this halfway or down the middle on the long side, which is at four and a quarter. And then you can just go ahead and fold on that score line. Let me grab my bone folder. And that just makes a crisper fold there. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Now the next piece is basic white. And let me measure this again because I did it a while ago. This is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And we are gonna use that butterfly, butterfly brilliance. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, I'd say. And I do enjoy using the Stamparatus when I use this large stamp. All right, I'm gonna put a magnet down, even though this is my scrap paper. And then, as you know, I always like to put the case of the stamp set just so when you ink it up, this isn't at an angle like that because when I do that, it tends to get ink on the um, acrylic part. So let's just put that so it's a um, level, you know, level, base and then we'll take soft succulent I, when I went back and watched a couple um videos that I've done and it's so funny because I really tend to pound this <laughs> and it makes the camera shake and I keep telling my customers you don't have to pound just tap 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 and then here I am pounding so do as I say not as I do <laughs> oh boy all right so I want to ink that up well and what I'm going to do first is stamp it on the scrap, I, I'm on purpose not putting it, that in there because I wanted a shade lighter. So I'm just gonna stamp it, and not only do I get one layer of ink off, now I can see exactly where it is, so I can place this paper wherever I want. Which butterflies do I wanna make sure are in here? So I think I'm still gonna put it in the middle and they'll all get cut off a little bit, no worries. All right, now let's just go stamp it again. And you notice I did not re-ink it in between. That was on purpose. And then make sure you get every corner of this. And then it should be one tone lighter. Ooh, I like how it picked up even darker in some areas. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we are gonna use this layer on our card. Move this. All right, now the next piece is just gonna be one eighth inch larger. So this should be five and a quarter by four. Let me double check, five and a quarter by four. And now we are going to adhere this. And um, I like to use my green glue just because I know I've told you this before. If you watch my videos, it's because it doesn't adhere. You have a little bit of wiggle room before it dries. So if you're off, you know, off center a little bit, no worries. You can still move it around. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this layer is going to be popped up. So let's put some dimensionals back there. When I use a full cardstock front. I like to put them in the middle as well because I don't like when you have sagging cards. <laughs> you could use small dimensionals if you'd like here too, which usually I do, but these are easier to grab, especially when I'm on camera. <laughs> uh, all right, now we're just going to center this on the front of our card and the work is half over. You're going to find this is a really fast and easy card, which is my kind of card. Seems like I've needed a lot of cards lately. All right, now this is part of that Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. It uses Evening Evergreen and uh, um, what did we just use here? <laughs> oh my gosh, it is Soft Succulent. Oh my goodness, do you think I'll ever learn the names of these um, new colors? And this one, I better tell you what the measurements are. This is four by one and a quarter. And let me see, I think we're gonna, should we pop this one? Um, I think we're just, mm, let's see, what do you think, popped or not? Let's pop it. So then we need dimensionals and not glue. So we'll just put three on here. Again, one in the center so it doesn't sag. That's the danger of designing as you go. You're not really quite sure of yourself. So this one is going to match up with the evening evergreen underneath. I didn't go all the way out to the edge, but you could. Now the last layer we're gonna do is just basic white and this is gonna be four inches by three fourths of an inch. And this is what I'm gonna use that stamp that I showed you earlier and it says life is better with a friend like you. And let's just stamp this one on the white and I like it because it's a nice long sentiment and it'll fill this space here. All right, now let's put that aside. I also wanna show you with the Butterfly Brilliance um, dies there's these butterflies that are 
nice size just to add a little something. So I did the two smallest butterflies in here. And then let's grab our little cinnamon. And this one I'm just going to put on. Since I popped up the green one, I'm not going to pop this one up. Okay. Now just put that right in the center. And it's just going to offset the sentiment a little bit with a nice border that coordinates well. All right, now those teeny tiny little butterflies I made, let's curl the wings up a little bit by just taking your bone folder. I need to clean my bone folder. It is a, looks like crushed curry. So let's just go like that and let me grab my glue dots and let's just put a glue dot on the back of each one. Now let's put Let's kind of offset this one here, actually right there. And then let's put the other one flying nearby it. Whoops, did, oh, the glue dot didn't come off. Hmm, let me try a new one. Okay, and then this one's just gonna fly a little bit above it and let's have him go this way. All right, now those, are really cute up there but they look a little bit on the naked side so we need to put something coordinating so let's do these little genial gems that are new to stamp it up this year and let me grab my pick, my picker tool pick, pick tool i should say and i think we'll use the larger one for the large butterfly and the smaller one for the small butterfly and that just kind of sets it off like that Sweet and simple and a great card if you want to showcase that soft succulent in color. Well, there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me. If there's any products that you like and would like to order, please use the host code right here. And then also remember if your order is over $35 or more, you get free Creative You projects from me. They are cut and ready to go. All you have to do is... Um, you know, if you want to use your own stamps or if you want to order those next time so you can make your cards exactly like mine. But you will get all the card kits, all three of them, for placing your order. And it's my way of saying thank you. And then I will mail those to you. Remember, the deadline is the 10th of each month. But if you've missed that month, then if it's after the 10th, it'll roll over to the 10th month. So I do look back into the previous month to see who ordered after the 10th. And then that will roll over to the next one. Well, thank you again for joining me. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.